Jake Palmer at Remax here. I'm at 24 Whiting Lane on the Kingston Peninsula. Whiting Lane is um, just a little road that goes between Route 845 and the Belle Isle. We're just five minutes from uh, Kingston Corner and uh, maybe 10 minutes tops from the Gonville Point Ferry. This is an interesting home. It's uh, over 2,000 square feet. I measured in around 2,200 square feet finished. It's on a slab. And the big difference from this one uh, compared to most of the stuff you'll see is that typically when you're looking at homes on bigger parcels of land on the peninsula, they're usually old farmhouses on stone foundations with knob and tube wiring and cast iron plumbing, things like that. This one was built in the late 70s or early 80s. And while it certainly could use some cosmetics, you're already starting with modern wiring, ABS plumbing, a drywall as opposed to plaster. So if you're handy and you really want square footage and you want some nice land, it's really hard to beat a house like this. As you can see in the front, we've got a nice wide veranda, kind of looking out towards the front yard area. And we'll go right into the mudroom. This house also boasts a really great floor plan and I'll show you what I mean so as you look around you'll see some finishes that obviously it's got OSB floors you'll want to update that but you come in here and you've got a really nice wide mudroom big closet off to the side and that leads directly into this really fantastic open floor plan uh, on the main level and it's big like this is a nice big living room with lots of room for furniture Nice big windows. It's electric baseboard heat, so it's not an oil furnace, which a lot of insurance companies don't like. And even this dining area, lots of room here for the biggest dining room table you can find. And the staircase is nice and open. The home is really well set up for wood heat. Chimney in the middle, staircase right beside it, so the heat goes right upstairs very nicely. And very open here on the main floor, so it's just perfectly set up for wood heat. And again, once you look past the finishes, like the old linoleum floor and the some older hardwood and stuff, and you start focusing on the floor plan, you'll see there's lots of cabinet space here because the kitchen extends way over to the other side. And there's just a ton of square footage. Nice, big, big, big open floor plan on the main level. Off to the side of the kitchen here is, um, is a wood shed. So again, Really nicely set up for wood heat. Keep your wood right there. Got an exterior door, but you don't have to go outside to get your firewood. I don't think either one of the stoves are CSA approved, so you'd have to get another wood stove, but you do have a brick chimney um, that uh, extends right through the roof, and it's a nice shape, so you can just get a new liner and put a new wood stove in. Right off this mudroom area, you've got washer dryer, pressure tank, and hot water tank. A little bit further down here, we've got a three-quarter bath. And then this is, you could use this as a den. It's really largely unfinished. This would also make a really good single car garage. And so if you open this up and made a drive-in garage, it's a really nice space for that. And then you'd come right into the mudroom area. And then this is just that uh, woodshed that we saw a minute ago off the kitchen give you a sense of that again. So that's that door that we just went through. We'll go back upstairs. And so upstairs has three really good sized bedrooms and this really great seating area right at the top of the stairs. So because it's on a slab, doesn't have a basement, there's a, a lot of great square footage downstairs, but also up here, this is a great area for kids' toys, great area for an office space or a reading area. And then great sized bedrooms. So it gets beautiful natural light in here. Closet's right around the corner here. And as you can see, electric baseboard heat throughout. It's all modern wiring. Actually, because the home is largely unfinished, I can actually show you. That's all modern copper wiring. This is the master bedroom. It's a really good size, double closet. It faces the backyard, which is ideal. And then down here, we've got a nice big closet space off to the side. Full bathroom, so flush, and a really nice big bathroom. 
So big soaker tub, double sinks, and this faces the backyard as well. So going back downstairs, So again, as you can see, you know, you can keep yourself busy doing cosmetics, but the key stuff that your insurance company is going to want to know about and the, um, and the stuff that a lot of people lose equity on. So rewiring a house, doing new plumbing, you just don't always recoup those costs. You've got a good starting point here and a really great layout. And I'm going to do a second video of the outside as well, but just to give you a quick sense, got a couple of barns over on the side there and a really large garage but i'll do a second video of those i think the key thing that i'll point out right now is that you can see that cleared field down here where they used to keep horses it goes just as far back um, into the bare woods back there there's also a brook down along the side and that defines the property line and quite a nice pond so if you watch the second video um, i'll uh, i'll give you a tour of those things as well Thanks very much.